So if it was 0 0.1010, if that was the x that was correct, pop it in here. You would have 2 times 0 0.1010. Well, that would give you more than 0 0.200. Is it possible to have less NO than you, than you ever start? I mean, you, there's no negative concentration, correct? You would end up with a negative concentration. That makes this incorrect. You with me on that? Okay, now, to get the individual concentrations, let's take that X that we now know is the correct one, because the other one was ludicrous, and pop it in here. Well, first of all, I'll do this one, and then somebody do this one for me. I'll do these two. Zero. 9 molar, 0.099 molar. I did those two. I did the hard work. Somebody give me this number. Point two zero 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 two. 0.00202, right? Yep. Okay. This makes good sense because we have a big KC. It's much bigger than 1. So we know that it will favor the, which will favor, yes. If you have a big KC, you're favoring the products. Look, we have a pretty big molarity for the two products and our um, reactant product is really, really small. Okay, so it makes sense all around. Then the last thing you do is check your answer. I never check the answers, but I know they're in the back here, right? Ah. 1543. 0 0.0099 for the O2 and for the N2 and 0 0.002 for the NO. We got it. But it's that easy, okay? Just don't panic. <laughs> All you do is step-by-step, step, ice table. Write down on the ice table what you know, figure out the change in X's, and then make a new expression for the equilibrium concentrations. Sometimes they'll give you the KC, and you'll have to find the concentrations. Sometimes they'll give you the concentrations you have to find the KC. Sometimes they'll give you the KC and the, and the equilibrium concentrations and they'll want to know the initial concentrations. But you can do all that. Find out what X is. You with me? So if you don't have a fancy calculator, how do you do both that? There's, uh, she's, and if you didn't hear that, if you don't have a fancy calculator, what do you do? There's a trick I'm going to show you in the near future that allows you to ignore these X's. Let's say you have a, we're going to do a lot of these equilibrium problems where the KC is really, really, really small. That means that the change in X will be small. Okay? If the change in X is really, really, really small, then we can assume that it won't affect something big like 0.200 molar. If this is really, really small, the sig figs that we are, are using, you can, this will be so small that it won't really affect this, and so you can just ignore it on that side. But there's a rule to that, but we're not ready to look at that yet, but it's a great question. So we'll look at that when we hit it. Good?